The results are in from last night's New Hampshire primary, but most importantly, I want to make a video talking about the clear media manipulation and bias that's taking place right now. Obviously, we know that the mainstream media is in the hands of the corporate globalist government establishment, and they're showing their true colors right now, subtly and not subtly at all. Right now, everyone in New Hampshire last night voted for Bernie Sanders, except for the very old and the very rich. But... We have CNN here declaring Hillary Clinton the clear winner in the delegates in New Hampshire even hours before the polls closed. Obviously manipulating the polls, obviously lying, obviously pushing people who are on the fence towards Hillary Clinton. We have ABC News that just tweeted this a few hours ago showing all the presidential candidates who won last night with resting female dog face. But the real female dog, who was a clear loser last night, is shown here smiling, subtly manipulating you, showing you how she's so great and wonderful and happy. Meanwhile, everyone's miserable. Meanwhile, she lost and she's miserable. ABC News continued with their propaganda last night by only documenting five minutes of Bernie Sanders' speech on their website. Meanwhile, the full Hillary Clinton speech is on their website right now. CNN International also said Trump and Sanders win. While here in the United States, the CNN in the United States wrote that the outsiders win and that Kasich was second, failing to mention Trump and Sanders in any way, shape, or form. The game is rigged. Hillary Clinton has clear establishment ties in the Democratic Party with the help of her husband, President Bill Clinton. And because of that, a lot of the superdelegates have announced that they will be already supporting Hillary Clinton, giving her a 45 to 1 superdelegate establishment democratic advantage over Bernie Sanders. The game is rigged. We have the establishment in the Democratic Party already pushing her, already voting for her without even the major primaries happening yet. And the White House is standing by her saying that they will not be interested in persecuting her, investigating her, or looking into her crimes when she was Secretary of State, when she held public office and lied and manipulated and did illegal things during her tenure. There is an FBI investigation officially confirmed just a few days ago that is taking place, but don't expect it to go anywhere because the White House has no interest at all, which they previously publicly stated in even going after her. Now, how does Hillary Clinton get away with this? How does she manipulate the mainstream media? Well, according to Gawker and the Freedom of Information Act, thank you for that very important law, there's new information, new leaked emails coming out just showing you exactly how Hillary Clinton is manipulating the media. There was a journalist from The Atlantic that wrote the Hillary Clinton office in 2009 asking for a speech that she was giving at the CFR, asking for a transcript before the speech actually happened so he could write the article before anyone else. The Hillary Clinton team responded saying, yes, we will give this to you on three conditions. One, you describe her voice as muscular. You describe that Holbrook, Mitchell, and Ross were in the audience. And three, you will not mention that we just blackmailed you. And of course, the good prostitute, the good horse stream media, the good journalist at the Atlantic who is succumbing, who is capitulating to the establishment said, yes, I will stay silent. You feed me information. I will write my articles like you want me to write. I will manipulate. I will lie. I will do favors for you. I will not do my job as a journalist and will be your private PR puppet pretending to be a journalist if you just feed me information. And this has officially come out. You can see the emails in the description below. All the sources to this video will be clearly documented. And you could see just the clear media bias. I know many people in uh, the establishment of the mainstream media and they tell me Hillary Clinton is impossible to work with everything that is said about her everything that is described about her every video every comment every word about her is strictly controlled by the Hillary Clinton campaign all the journalists out there are selling out to power or selling out to access in order to get just a little bit of information but they don't get it it's not even information it's more PR the journalists have bent over, they have spread their cheeks, and they said, just take whatever you want, Hillary Clinton. And that's what you see with the mainstream media doing, especially with last night's New Hampshire primary. They are so ballsy at the Hillary Clinton campaign that they even ask Twitter to censor hashtags that are anti-Hillary Clinton. There was a hashtag that was 
hashtag words that don't describe Hillary Clinton. The Hillary Clinton team reached out to the CEO of Twitter and said, you need to censor this right away. That's how brazen, that's how ballsy, that's how filled with just outright power these criminals are that they want to censor Twitter. And of course, Twitter is capitulating silently and they're going against anyone who is a conservative, anyone who is voicing their concerns, anyone who has any anti-establishment views, as we're seeing portrayed here, a well-known verified Twitter account that was conservative, was recently unverified, and people are getting their Twitter accounts suspended, banned, and locked for unknown reasons, and this is mainly happening to people who are pro-Trump, people who are anti-Hillary Clinton, anti-establishment. Why is this happening? Well, Twitter just announced that they're going to have a new Trust and Safety Council. And who is on this Trust and Safety Council? Well, 40 organizations. Organizations like the Anti-Defamation League, like the Feminist Frequency, like anti-Gamergate activist Anita Sharkskin. Now, when you have people who don't believe in freedom of speech on a publicly used social media platform like Twitter deciding what should be there, what should be banned, who should be unverified, who should be verified. You could see Twitter capitulating, again, bending over to the corporate globalist government elite. We know the media is run and controlled by these people. We have documented this on our YouTube channel. We have confronted the former CIA director, James Woolsey, who's another globalist puppet tool, and we confronted him dead on about Operation Mockingbird, a declassified government document detailing how the CIA had full control and its own officers within the mainstream media. This is documented. We confronted him on it, and he nervously answered. Anderson Cooper, who had no journalism training at all, was trained to be in the CIA when he was in college, runs away every single time I talk to the establishment tool, hides in his car, answers awkwardly every single time I ask him. What about Operation Mockingbird? What about the governments? What about the establishments? What about all the secrecy of the media manipulating us? And, of course, that's what you get. Also, keep an eye out for Bloomberg. The media is all over him. They're desperate for him to run. They're also desperate for the establishment candidate who is pro-NDAA, anti-Bill of Rights, Marco Rubio. Obviously, Bloomberg is also one of their favorites that they're pushing since he's a liberal, globalist, billionaire Democrat. They're pushing these people because Trump and Bernie are getting a lot of favorable attention, a lot of public support. The establishment is losing, they're manipulating you, and you need to know about this. Be a rational human being. Don't be fooled by this corporate globalist government establishment that is clearly trying to manipulate you. Share this video with anyone who you think is being manipulated. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to support Real Independent Media. Pick up a shirt. The proceeds from all the shirts go towards this real, free, and independent media organization that's run for you and by you. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have a lot more content coming here your way on youtube.com forward slash we are change.